spinning around. There we go, we're live. Cool. So, turn that down a bit. I might bring the dragon around there. That might be cool. We'll just stay in the stack. That's all right. Haven't done the live for a while, so that's pretty cool. Uh, there we go. Looks like Dave's watching. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm doing, cream power, um, which is basically a cream abalone, like an abalone soup recipe, pretty much. And I'm just throwing a few things through them. Oh, you've got to mince them up. But what I want to do is just run an onion through it at the moment. Just half an onion. There we go. Let's see if it's working. Yep, that's cool. There we go. And there's me abalone. I've taken them out of the shell. If you haven't, if you don't know how to do it, um, and you want to know how to do it, check out a couple of weeks back. I did a little um, how-to, how to clean them. I'm um, just taking them out of the shell. Still got the skirt on because the skirt will mince up all right. It's not too bad. Um, if you want to, you can cut them in half. And that, if you've only got a small mixer, yeah, that's working good. Um, and I don't, I, I, I don't mince them with the guts. A lot of people do. You just throw the guts in as well. But um, it's got a lot of sand in it, so I never do it that way. But don't forget to save a little bit of that onion for the end, and that will just clean all that um, abalone out of the out of the mixer as you go on. I'm making, um, I'm making enough, just making a small one, probably enough for two, three people, or two and a bit of lunch. But we could use them, what, probably, I don't know, just six abs. I'm going to go and six them. Mello, how you doing? Yeah, good, um, good kiwi recipe, eh? Now there's probably a whole lot of Kiwis watching that are going, oh you're doing it all wrong, but um, this is the way I do it. And each to, each to their own, I suppose. Let's put another couple in. A little bit here as well, that thing on it, ready. It's funny, and I've got enough there for a feed. Fridge. Thing is, with seafood, you don't want to leave it out too long. So there we go. Hopefully, you can see that mincing it up fairly well, and then just throw the onion through at the end, just to get the rest of that out. And if you really wanted to, you just tip a little bit of, um, you want to kind of flush it out a little bit, just a little bit of chicken stock down it. And you can see it's still, still working its magic, still flushing it out a bit. And just let that run its course for a second. All good. Just open that up, get that minced out. Bit of minced onion. Uh -huh. Thing is, you don't want to waste too much of it as well. Like if it's got abalone there, you don't want to waste it. You can see there's some caught up in there. That's all right. That's nice and chunky. That'll be right. So that's fine. Bit of the skirt. So I'll try that out. Beauty. That worked well. Alright, here's the fun bit. The easy part. So there you go. There's the mince, mince power, minced abalone. <coughs> and I'll just flip this around here if I can. Oh, there you go. So we've got a 
on the oven. I've got some um, I've got some oil heating up there for my fry bread, and I'll show you that in a minute. Hey Shane, how you doing, mate? I'm going good. Bit of a Sunday cook up. So that's getting nice and warm. I'll just get that out of the way. Throw that on. Throw it on. There we go. Wrong button, dude. Okay, so into a hot pan. I'm going to throw. Um, Probably two tablespoons of butter. Just throw that in. And I'll move, I should move that back a bit so everyone can see. There you go. Believe it or not, one of the first times I haven't got a drink in my hand. So, hey Daniel, how you going mate? Oh, there we go, as I said, about two tablespoons of butter. Into a pot. <laughs> But I'm using the frying pan for um, for the fry bread, so um, I'll do that in a minute. I'll show you. So I've already had the fry bread. I've been making the fry bread today, um, and I'll show you that process in a sec. So into that butter, I want a um, teaspoon of garlic. Nice and hot. You can hear it sizzling already. Hey Shane, how's things, mate? Are you hanging out for you? Yeah, cool. It's a great little recipe, eh? It is, um, there's lots of flavour to it and, and I can understand why so many people cook it this way. It's, um, and it's fairly easy. Right, into it. While that's happening, beauty. Mix that around. Need a spoon, get a work around the sides of that. And there you have it, there's that, um, there's the minced abalone, there's a fair bit in there. What I want to do is while that's going in, mix it in with that butter and the onion, we want that onion to cook especially. Because uh, it's going to turn into basically a soup, right? But right, parsley, while the parsley's happening, I'll just chop the stalks off. There we go, and I want to dice that parsley up. Nice and fine. There you go. There you go. Show you that. And not too much because you don't want to overpower that abalone. So there's probably uh, two tablespoons of parsley there. Now, as I said, that abalone is cooking in the butter. Give it a good stir around. Now it's going to be nice and creamy, nice and buttery. You can use uh, just fresh whipping cream or you can use coconut cream. And I like to use coconut cream in it. Really nice, gives it that nice flavour to it. Um, and I'll also add a tiny little bit of that whipping cream in it as well. Um, it goes really well, it's beautiful. And, secret ingredient, I a touch of chicken stock in it too. Not too much, it's got a nice salty flavour to it. Goes in there, it tastes beautiful. So, and don't forget, lots of cracked pepper. So you can season it now. Just while it's cooking up. And make sure you Make sure you're constantly stirring it around too. You're moving it around the pan. Therefore, um, you're making sure that onion's gonna cook, okay? So, and I'm just gonna, what I'll do, just put a bit more chicken stock in here. I'm gonna rinse that out. Just give it a bit of a rinse. There you go, don't wanna waste any of that abalone. Risk life and limb trying to get it. There we go into there and into that. And as I said, it's personal preference. 
whether you want to use just normal cream or coconut cream, I like the coconut cream in it. It gives it that nice flavour to it. Some people, um, some people like it really thick, like a porridge. Um, I like it more like a soup. And I'll just throw a little bit of, um, bit more stock into it. That's just how I have it. Um, you obviously don't have to have it like I'm having it. Uh, I like it like a soupy, soupy sort of style. And cream, yep, yeah, always check the green mean. Never trust it. Never trust a cow. Right, so I'll just tip a little bit of cream in there. Probably half a can of cream. Just to bulk it up a bit. There we go. So it's probably a cup of the chicken stock went in. A uh, can, can of coconut cream and probably a cup of cream. And I'll just show you, I'll bring it over and show you. So there you go. So that, that, that'll just go on now. I'll boil that up nice and chunky in there. Beautiful. And so that you can add that parsley now to it. Flip that in there. Alright, there we go. And I'll get that going from probably five to ten minutes I'll give that a bit of a boil, nice simmer and uh, and then I can serve it up. Right so off for the fry bread, let's get the fry bread happening. So into, um, into a, I, use a, oh, I use a plastic bowl and I'll be back because I'll just drop the knife, but that's okay, don't worry about that. Alright into a plastic bowl, um, which is I'll show you the bowl in a minute. I just use a cup of water, lukewarm water. Uh, so one, one sachet, you get these yeast sachets, so one sachet yeast, uh, two tablespoons of brown sugar just went into a bowl. And then when that, when that brown sugar started to bubble, I then started adding um, some plain flour to it. And when the plain flour uh, started to be nice and gooey, uh, rolled it out onto a bench, lots of flour on top of that. And then... Um, then oil the bowl, put it back in the bowl, and left it, leave it sitting in a nice warm place so uh, that that rose, that um, dough start to rise. And hopefully, we'll see how it goes. I'll just um, pull it apart now, and I'll show you. Right, hold on. There we go. So here it is. There's the one I've done earlier. Oh, look at that! So it's doubled in size. It was only. It was only a little bit, just a couple of cups. Right, there's a trick to it. And it can be a fairly messy job, but you want to flour the bench. Definitely want to flour the bench. And when I, when I put that um, dough back in, there you go, lots of flour on that bench because you watch what happens here. Now when you put that flour in, I oiled the bowl, so hopefully this will come straight out in one piece and won't fucking go to shit. So here we go, hold on. Can I whistle the Kiwis now? How's it going, mate? Hey, Nathan, I'm going alright, man. I'm going good. Joel, what's happening, mate? I'm going well, bud. So here we go, look at this. Uh, I'll just pull it out of there, yes. Oh, no, it's coming out alright. I thought it would stick to shit. Hopefully, you can see that. Straight onto the bench. And it can become fairly gooey, so just, yeah. You want it nice and light. It's got to be nice, light, and fluffy. Eh? There you go, and a bit of. Just give it a flour. Not too much flour because it'll it can make it fairly dry. But just pat it down a bit. There you go. Just so you can work with it. Give it a bit of a poke out of it. Yeah, there you go. Not too much flour on it. Yeah, there you go. That's it. Right, now's the trick. Keep the flour on your hands, obviously, because that's gonna that's gonna act every time you pick it up. It'll be sticky as shit. So you want to be really careful with it. Right, 
into a pan. I've got some vegetable oil going. And I've cranked that up full piss. Yep. So what you want to do with the veggie oil too is get it really nice and hot. And on a plate, put some paper towel on there because it's going to come straight off of this. And it's going to drain on the paper towel. They're really not that good for you, these things. They're deep fried bits of bread. And uh, not good for the heart. But should be right, don't tell anyone. Well, that's happening, don't forget to stir your soup around. Just turn that down a bit. There we go. Done. Beautiful. Right. Red. And I'm going to need some tongs. Okay. And with the with the dough, I don't know if you can see it. Just cut sections off. As I said, it's sticky, nice, light and fluffy, and then straight into the hot oil. And we'll give them, a, give them a couple of them. You make them about as big as your hand there, that's it. And the, what will happen is you try and not too much flour, and I've probably over it here, but um, what happens if you put too much flour on it, all that flour is just going to sink down to the bottom of the frying pan and you'll end up with a gluggy fucking mess at the bottom of the frying pan but and just lay them in your flour, there we go just chop them up and you make them big as small as you want and that's just going to dip into your sauce, into your uh, soup and I'll just do four there give them a flick over, only takes a couple of minutes What's going to happen? That'll fry it nice and nice and golden. But you just pat these. See, it's very hard to stick them back together. Get a one piece without getting all that flour back over them. So there we go. We'll just chop this up. I'll kind of prepare myself. There you go for the rest of the shit. But if you didn't have all that flour, it just sticks to everything. G'day, Jeff. How you going, mate? Hey Paul, how's things man? So there we go. Turn the others over. And I'll just rip one out and show you what they're like. Go, there's your fry bread all done and it's um, hopefully it's cooked there you go nice and chunky you can have that with jam or you just I made it for the soup oh beautiful fucking ducks nuts that's good got a nice little pancake you can you can add a bit of spice to it add some salt and pepper to it we leave them Wow, that's good. You can leave them plain like this, and then you can add a bit of butter and jam to them if you want. Hey, Joel, how you going, mate? And, and, and they're good. Ah, good. Not bad, not bad. All right. Let's get a few more off. So there we go, they're pretty rough and ready, but um, you know, there's no, no real delicate shape to them. I'm just cutting them out of pieces like this, out of the, out of the dough mixture, and slapping them straight in the frying pan. As I said, you can make them bigger or small as you want. 
But just remember when you do it, try and shake a bit of this flour off because I've, I've got a pan now full of flour. Well, not full of flour, but it's got a lot of flour on the bottom and it's a bit of a mess, but they kind of turn out well. So there we go. Let's do a little one here. Little one for the dog. He's in love. I reckon I'll fit another one in there. Just pull that apart. You see how they're not firm like a bread? They're nice and I've got a little bit gooey, a little bit sticky still. There you go. So there it is, guys. That was that was fairly easy. That was in um, and there's that there's that soup. There's my cream power, whatever you want to call it, uh, abalone soup cream power. It's nice and thick. Uh, it's got some it's got some body to it but it's not like a porridge you know it's not a, like a traditional one but it's still nice it's like lovely we'll just um I'll tell you what i'll do you might need to just season it so oh man that is fuck, that is good oh <laughs> yeah i'm stoked i'm stoked It's got that nice oniony taste to it, a little bit of garlic in it. Um, yeah, it's going to go really well with that fry bread. So there you go, guys. Uh, I'll take a photo, I'll put it up. Uh, it's the duck's nuts, absolutely. I should have been onto this. The Kiwis have been onto it for years, and I should have been onto it a long time ago. Thanks for watching, everyone. Hey, it's been good. I hope you had a great weekend. Uh, there's my cream power and fry bread recipe, and that's how easy it was. It wasn't that hard. You just got to do those um, that fry bread. You got to get into it and do it um, fairly early. Oh, that's cool, man. <laughs> Thanks, Shane. Hey. Cheers, mate. All the best, guys. Thanks for watching.